What's up, Internet Basketball Junkies? Today we're going to look at a four-out, one-in, double gap to attack. This is accomplished with a handoff, a down screen, a swing across the court into a brush screen. This is a pretty simple but effective action to get a driver space to attack the basket. The key to this action is the brush screen, the timing, and the quality. A quality brush screen against teams that get through screens means the play is going to work. This is a low degree of difficulty action, but it does require a good playmaker to finish on the back end. In this clip, we see good spacing on the backside, forcing the defender to choose between stepping in to take the charge or getting closer to the shooter in the corner. In this next clip, we see another great brush screen. If you can get a brush screen like this with a playmaker attacking the hoop at this downhill angle, you're going to get points, you're going to get fouls, you're going to find the right open people on the perimeter. In this clip, we see another good brush screen. I think we have a player in the wrong spot. I think they started running the play before they had their people set. I think the ball handler could have got a little deeper into the gap since the help showed up so early. I think one more dribble into that gap and the shooter in the corner has a shot on the catch. Either way, they flow well into free play, attacking the closeout and finding an open perimeter shot. In this clip, we get another great brush screen. The difference in this possession is the defense is going to stay with the strong side shooter in the corner. The weak side is open. If the dynamic player doesn't want the floater, it's a tough pass, but it is there for him if he wants it. In this clip, we see that if there's no brush screen, there's going to be no advantage. You can't just transport the ball to the next person. You have to throw the pass ahead and then brush up against that defender as you run by. And I don't think this is the slot shot selection that the play was designed to have. In this clip, we see some really good defense by the team in black. Just one player refusing to get screened off. And this is why you run this play for your best player. They can bail you out when the execution isn't great. These next two clips show teams defending this action with the switch. I think this is the easiest way to take away this action, but it does require quite a bit of awareness by the defense to recognize the flow of the action and switch to head off the momentum of the downhill driver. Now in these last three clips, we look at a variation where we are going to take away the down screener and we're going to put him on the baseline. He's going to jump up to set a ball screen after the brush screen. I like the action better without the ball screen. I think it puts too many bodies in the way of the downhill driver. If it were to get switched, I think you might have an advantage with a little on big to attack downhill with some space. Uh, but I like it better without the screen. Thanks for breaking down this video with me. Mm -hmm.